Hey everybody, it's Dak here from the Ed Boys, and welcome to episode 55 of our RuneScape 2007 Road to 100 mil from scratch. At the end of episode 54, I said I'd be finishing up these 10,000 green dragon hides, turning them into 10,000 green dragon leather, and I have managed to do that. It looks like we're just about done. I got 10 more to go, and then I can head up to the grain exchange and sell them for what I believe will be a pretty good profit. I have been watching the prices while I do it, and it looks like that the prices have stayed pretty good for us, which is a nice thing. We only did, well, only did 10,000, but that takes about four hours, which really isn't too bad when it comes to price changes. Generally, you're not going to get a drastic drop or a drastic rise, I guess, in those four hours. Now that I have finished up all of these hides, I am going to sell them at the Grand Exchange here, where we have made it safe and sound, no worries. I don't think this will bring us to any specific milestone in cash. We were sitting at like uh, 83. 3 mil, maybe 82 mil, I think. Uh, as you can see, a lot of the unicorn, door, unicorn horn dust has sold. Not all of it quite yet. The price has been dropping while I'm trying to sell it, which has made it kind of difficult to sell. But it hasn't been that bad. We're still making good profit from it overall. I just have to, have to keep checking on it. So whatever. I'm not really that upset that I have to check on my prices every once in a while. Now I'm going to sell these green dragon hides, hopefully make a pretty good profit from it. I'm going to sell them for 1,760 coins apiece, and hopefully that won't take too long to sell. I don't think they'll sell immediately. Uh, it looks like some of them sold immediately, so we got a little bit of money from it, but I will wait for the rest of them to sell. In the meantime, today's task is going to be the Motherlode Mine. As you can tell from the title, that has made it as number 6 on our top 10. I do need to grab a Dragon Pickaxe. That's what I'm doing right now. It should cost me about 1.1 mil. I will put for a little bit over 1.1 mil because I don't think it'll buy right away for that. And I'd like to have my Pickaxe so we can run and start mining. So here we go. Pickaxe is bought. Actually, uh, even though I got this pickaxe almost immediately for just over 1.1 mil, I do think I'll wait here for the rest of those tan or excuse me, those leathers and possibly those unicorn horns to sell. All right, everybody. Here is the rest of the money from the dragon hides. I had to change the price a couple times because it was dropping. It was kind of peaked when I went to sell them at first. So a few of them sold for that full price, but we ended up making a good profit overall. Now that I add all the cash back, we are at 83 mil. Let's see exactly how much. 83.7, almost 83.8 mil, not too bad, looking good. All right, everybody, we're doing mother load mine today, as you know, and we're going to be doing a pretty good amount of it. Not a ton, but uh, I would say a ton, uh, in between not and, and a ton, does that make sense? Uh, we're going to be doing a pretty good amount of this, make some good profit from it. Uh, I need to at least get to 72 mining because I would be able to unlock the upper level of mother load mine, so I might as well hit that milestone since I'm already at 70. And I'm going to need 100 gold nuggets to purchase the upper level, which may take longer than 72. So there might be a few milestones we hit. But since this is the top 10, I will be doing the pros and cons and the XP and GP rates. Let's start off with the cons as normal. The big con that I have going here is that mining is definitely a kind of a tough grind. It feels really slow, even though the paces are decent. And even at Motherload Mine, when you can AFK it a little bit, or at least you don't have to get one rock per ore, you can get multiple ores from a single vein, it still feels really slow, and that makes it kind of tough to train. It definitely feels like a grind. You don't get great XP, and I'll talk about that in the rates in a little bit, so it is kind of a grind, that's true. But for me, since it just really doesn't, it's not that exciting is a big thing, I guess. Even when you get to a higher level where you can get adamant ore and rune ore, it's, it's a little bit better because as you start to collect your ores from your pay dirt, you see those more rare, more expensive ores, and it's a little more exciting at that point, but it's still, there's not really a lot to look forward to. Once you hit 72, uh, you really only have one more milestone at 85, which is that rune ore, and then 85 to 99 is a lot of experience, so there's not that much to look forward to, just making the grind feel more of like a grind. So it definitely is a slow feeling one, and for me that made it tough to do a lot of it. But other than that, there really wasn't that many negatives to mining, so let's move on to the pros. For the first pro, I have that you get some mining XP from it, and it's, it's not a lot. Again, I'll talk about the XP rates and the money rates in just a little bit. It wasn't killer, but I, I always like to put the fact that you get XP as a pro because if you're just trying to make money and you're getting experience from it, that's always a positive thing. The next thing talks about the money you make. It's definitely a little bit more money than a lot of the other things we do, and for mining, this is pretty much the best money you can get. You can try to just mine rune ores. You might be able to make some better cash like that, and I have not been able to test that because I'm not quite 85 mining yet, but I don't believe it's really going to get that much faster than it gets here. And for our last pro, it definitely gets a little better as you keep going. And I only say a little better because it's not a crazy improvement, but when you're doing bowstrings and you increase crafting levels, or when you're doing cannonballs and you increase smithing levels, you really don't get any faster as you do it. And that's kind of a pain. It's, it's not a big deal, 
but it's nice when you keep increasing levels you start to get at a you start to collect things at a faster pace so in this case we're getting ores quicker we start to get higher level ores I believe and in general everything starts to speed up as you gain levels which is nice that means overall it's gonna be faster eventually the rates that I'm about to give you are the rates that I get at my current level which is 70 and if I got to 98 or 99 I'm sure those rates would be a lot quicker Speaking of XP rates, I will be getting into those in just a second, but first off, the first milestone I wanted to hit at Motherload Mine was getting to 72 mining, so the next thing you're going to see is when I get to that milestone. Alright everybody, I have made it to 72 mining, which means I can go into the upper level of the Motherload Mine, but I do not quite have 100 gold nuggets. I had a few gold nuggets when we started. I'm at, I believe, right around 60 right now, so I will be getting up to 100 so I can then purchase the upper level of the mines, and we will mine a little bit more up there. So the next big milestone I have is going gonna to be getting to 100 golden nuggets. It should not take too long, so I will see you guys when I get to that milestone next. And then we will talk about some of the XP and the GP rates. Alright guys, I'm about to have enough gold nuggets to get up to the upper level as long as I get at least one from this. I'm going to take this time to quickly talk about the XP and GP. We'll talk about, we'll talk about the experience first. The experience you're getting per hour, roughly for me, was about 33k. Uh, I can get up to as much as 35 to 40k, I believe, as you get to level 90 and 95 and even higher. But it really doesn't increase that much. The XP definitely isn't killer here, but this is some of the best mining XP you're going to get. Clearly power mining iron or granite. Uh, by the way, I did get the one gold nugget, so we're all good. Power mining iron and granite is faster experience, but you are making money here, and this is a money-making thing, so that's that's why we're here. We're trying to make some money. Now that I have these 100 gold nuggets, I'm going to run over to Percy. I will talk to him. I don't believe I trade him. Uh, yeah, I think I just had to talk to him about it. But I can talk about the money we're getting. Um, right now, I'm making just over 200k an hour, and it definitely has increased now that I can get Adam and Ore. I'm assuming with Rune Ore, it would go even higher, but I'm not going to get to 85 mining in this or in this series at all, to be honest. So I will not be able to test that, but I can only assume it's going to get a little bit faster. And just like the XP rates increase a little bit, I can assume just, just because you're mining faster that the GP would increase too. But right now, at around 72 mining, I get about 200k GP an hour, which is not too bad. Now that I've unlocked the higher level, uh, I'm a little closer to the hopper and to the bank, so it should be going a little bit quicker. This, in general, should have increased the rates. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get another like 50 or, so, 50 or so golden nuggets, and that's going to bring us to a good amount of ore to go sell. So that is when I'm going to see you guys next. I'm going to guess I'll be right around 75 mining. Alright everybody, finishing up my last load here. I just got to 75 mining, pretty excited. We've gotten a ton of ores, a lot of adamant ore, uh, a lot of every ore really, but the adamant ore is something I've really been paying attention to because those sell for a little over a K a piece, so every addy ore is definitely some extra profit. I'm just going to grab the rest of these ores from the hopper. I don't believe I have a bunch to do. I don't think it's going to be getting full. I think I just have one stack to grab. Nope, it didn't say it's empty yet, so I do have to grab one more, but then when I'm done, I will take all of these ores. I'll teleport up to Varrock where I'm to the Grand Exchange and we'll be ready to sell them for a pretty good profit. So you can see there I almost had 300 Adamant Ore. That's what I'm talking about. That's pretty good. That's almost 300k just in the Addy Ore and any other ore it could have been is at least you know 600 coins cheaper. So every time I get an Adamant Ore it's at least 600 coins more. So I would say it's an extra 180k because the Addy Ore which is pretty good. Got over 300 of it. Now that I have all these ores, like I said, and run up to the Grand Exchange, I'm going to meet you guys there. All right, everybody, here we are, safe and sound at the Grand Exchange, where I'm going to be selling the ores and this dragon pickaxe back because I will not be needing it anymore. Uh, I definitely liked Motherload Mine. This was a pretty good one. It landed at number six, as you can tell. Uh, it would have been a little higher if the rates were any better. It's the first one that we've had with only one con, and it was kind of a big con, but it was only one of them, so that was a good thing. It definitely is my favorite way to do mining. If I go to get 99 mining, this is how I'm going to do it. If it's really slow, maybe I'll go power mine, but I highly doubt I'll do that. And then once I'm finishing, or excuse me, once I'm finished selling these ores, we're going to be reaching up, uh, we're not going to get up to 90 mil, we're going to get like 88, I want to say. I'm not 100% sure though, I really, as you can tell, I'm kind of bad with the guessing. It's not because I don't know how much money I'm about to make, it's because I never fully remember what the stack was at. And even though I'm looking at it every time I'm in the bank, I don't really go look at it and pay attention, so I always forget what I'm adding to. I know that I'm going to have almost 3 mil here. Uh, yeah, it looks like just about 3 mil, but I don't know what I'm putting 3 mil into. But we'll get to see now. We have 2.9 mil to add, hopefully, to like an 87 mil stack. What was it, 84, 85? 
what is it, 83, oh, it was a little lower than I thought, I don't know why I was remembering it like that, 86, 86 mil is not too bad though, 86.7, we're just about 87 mil, we're actually right on track where we're supposed to be, so let's move on to the next step. Alright everybody, for this in-between episodes, I'm going to be stringing some U longbows. We're going to get some good fletching XP here because I'm going to be doing 7,500 of these. Uh, this is the price I want to buy them for, I think. Uh, again, if you guys haven't, haven't heard me say this by now, I have been using the OS Buddy prices lately to get some buying done. Uh, I'm going to be doing 7,500 of these bows. It's not going to take too long. This is going to be a fairly quick in-between episodes, and I'm going to make a pretty good profit from it. I'm looking for, I don't know, right around a mil profit. We'll see exactly how much we make at the beginning of next episode though. I'd like to start stringing some of them right now in front of you, but those U longbows unstrung did not buy right away. I didn't expect all of them to buy right away, but I want to get a few of them. So I will wait a second for them to buy. Uh, so the sapphires sold, that's nice, got a little more money, but I'll see you in just a second. And there we go, we got a few of them, only a little under 500, or just over 400 I should say. But that's enough to start, so I'm going to start stringing these bows, I will have all of these done at the beginning of next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, I know I did, and I will see you next time. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video and helping support the channel. If you enjoyed the video, we would appreciate it if you would hit that like button and tell us what you liked about it in the comments section below. If you're looking for more videos like this one, then go ahead and join the cul-de-sac by clicking that subscribe button and follow us on Twitter at TheEdBoys. All links are in the description.